five right now. This is just one of several local museums paying tribute today to the victims and the survivors of 9-11. Let's get to 10 News anchor Brian Schlonsky in the 10 News Live Center to highlight a few of those events that people can expect today. Brian. Well, Jason, in Virginia, on board the USS Midway, it is expected to look a lot like this. Thousands of people uh, will show up there today. There will be that reading of first responders' names from 9-11. Then at the Air and Space Museum in Balboa Park, they have this great exhibit there. This is a squad car there on display, damaged at Ground Zero. The time forever stamped into our minds, 8.46 a.m., September 11th, 2001. It was a moment of shock, uh, disbelief, uh, and then tears. A moment frozen in time. Those who are old enough remember exactly where we were and what we were doing. I'll never forget 9-11. Uh, downtown, I was in the gym. Uh, on, on a treadmill getting in my run. Scott McGaw spends his time now on the USS Midway Museum. At 2.30 today, this space will be filled with thousands of people. It's part of their promise to never forget. <laughs> New York firefighters and wounded warriors stopping to read the names of first responders. It's the largest 9-11 memorial on the West Coast. Everyone stops in their tracks. Everyone stops talking. You see tears. You see people sometimes almost shaking. Three and a half miles down the road in Balboa Park, a smaller tribute, but just as powerful. It's very important for us to remember those first responders and what they did on that day and how our world changed on that day. Inside the Museum of Air and Space, a Port Authority police cruiser. Windows smashed, building debris and rebar laying on the hood. It's a tribute to those who gave the ultimate sacrifice. It affects people differently, each person differently. Um, it's very reflective. Now, if you are planning on heading down to the Midway today, they suggest getting there about a half hour early because, as you see in the pictures from years past, it will be busy. Then, as far as the Air and Space Museum goes, if you buy a ticket to the museum, the exhibit in there is free.